Hey, hey everyone, Greenbeard here. Welcome back to another MLB 9 Innings 23 video on my channel. We're back with the Twins today, and before we get started, I had a few extra play points, so let's hop into a special SIG pack that I pulled. I got a special SIG pack with the one discount I had, and yet again, <laughs> we pulled a twin. This is Roy Smalley. They just added him back in, so he's the other shortstop that the Twins have in the game, him and Carlos Correa. Long term, I'd still prefer Correa for the field that he has because Smalley has almost no field. Um, but uh, we're going to take the Twin <laughs> um, and, you know, we'll train him for fielding as much as we can. And in, in the long run, he'll probably end up on the bench. But in the short term, um, we have another team sig that fills a position that we don't currently have a team sig in. Alrighty, so as you saw, we pulled a team sig, Roy Smalley. So let's hop into training him and getting him in the lineup. All right, so we've got a train now on uh, Smalley here. Um, unfortunately, with his base stats, he's not a great card, um, even when maxed out BD. With 19 to field, he will still only hit um, 120 field, which is lower than I'd like. Our normal Carlos Correa has 115, <laughs> and he's not max special training or BD. Um, but once we get him max special training... To BD, he'll have 120 field, and he'll have better speed and better batting stats. So, in the long run, it's worth it, because eventually I'd like to replace him anyway with Correa. But in the meanwhile, he's an upgrade, and once we do replace him um, with Correa, we can retrain him for pure batting stats, uh, where he'll do a lot better, and we don't have to worry about field as much. So, um, that is a plus. Uh, because he's trained, because he's already gold means we can just take him straight to Diamond. Um, the Compensation GI has yet to be delivered. I'm filming this right before the patch update where they um, give out the free GI. Um, but I already had one left over that I've been holding on to, so we're going to use this one because it will be getting replaced very soon anyway. And that way we'll still have a GI left over for... Um, if we're able to get lucky from one of the next couple club crafts. It comes with 62 GI, so that's going to be a no all around. We have two of these, so hopefully we can get above 70, get a little lucky, because I only have a handful of them. He will go up, so that's good. 68. It's not great. I'm not a huge fan of 68, but... We only have one GI reset left, so he'll probably go down just with the way the game works. Um, as you can see, I don't have any skill change tickets because we used them all up because they're going to get refunded. So um, in the meanwhile, until we have more um, stuff to open up, we're going to do some packs today. And we'll use all that material to special train Roy Smalley. And uh, there's a Guardado. Well... I'll try to remember to go put him into backup in case we are to pull his SIG at some point. Um, still no update on the hunt for pitcher's chem. We're probably over 100 premiums in at this point. Steven Strasburg. It's nice to pull that now given that he's going back on the injured list and there's a good chance he may never pitch again. Um, but it's nice to pull him now. Uh... But yeah, so Pitcher's Chem, the hunt for Pitcher's Chem has been really slow, really tedious. And it's the issue is not even that I'm seeing a bunch of legend skills and they're all low level or they're not, you know, skills worth keeping on a normal card. The problem is we're just, we're dumping dozens and dozens and dozens of premium skill change tickets into him and we're just not seeing legend skills at all. Um, so it makes it makes it tough it definitely makes it tough um as you can see those are our three sigs we'll be club crafting probably buxton and radke next or polanco and radke probably hold on to buxton just because 
All right, we'll lock you up. And not Napoli, Guardado. Okay, so um, let us now move on to premiums. Or, sorry, live season silvers first. Got to get dumb live packs out of the way. Nobody likes them. Nobody wants them. Get them every year. Nothing of interest there. The last one. It's going to be a useless card. And it is. All right. Let's do these random premiums first. And then we'll hop into the 321 premium packs. Um, unlike on the Phillies team, I am going to use special train material on Smalley now, and that way we can, hopefully we don't have to go through all 321 packs to max out his special training. Um, but we'll see what we need, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to do that and then hope that we can hold on to and have some material left over for our next club craft, which in my time is a week away, but... It might end up needing to be longer than that um, because I'm a little bit short on club coins. So, um, it, yeah, it, it actually probably will end up getting tagged on to the end of this video. But um, in the meanwhile, we will uh, work on Smalley because that is a sure thing. That's a diamond team sig at a position we don't currently have a diamond team sig, so... Right, let's, we only have a little bit of room left, so let us, we'll do these golds. I want to do, well, I want to wait until we do the first batch of special training, then we can do all the premiums, uh, start on them all at once. So I want to get all these random assorted, assorted packs out of the way. Um, 30 teams select, I think we were going Yankees, if I believe correctly. Um, for the chance at trying to pull a legend there. Um, as we saw in the Phillies when I opened all those team packs, it uh, it's a real low chance. You could open hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of team select packs and never see a legend. Or you could be that person who barely plays the game and opens a single team select pack and all of a sudden they see a legend. So... This game is funky like that, but again, we don't need any normal cards, hence why we're opening for the Yankees. There's a Vintage, that's cool at least, and Team Select Diamond, we'll go Yankees, again, only really SIGs are going to help out the, this team. Oh, we got a Prime Diamond from this, Jorge Posada, that's an awesome card, that's a cool card to pull from... Um, a team select. Um, and we've got this pitcher batter. We're going to go Yankees. We're going to pitcher. Now show me Goose Gossage, who we already have on the Phillies. But I would like him on this team too. That's a good David Robertson card though. Um, all right. So I'm going to go lock up. We'll do first round of special training. Then we'll come back and do the rest of these packs. All right. And like I said, we'll use material here. Uh, goal is, obviously, to get him to level 8 if we can, at which point um, we'll at least put him uh, onto the team. Um, we need skills on him, and I don't think he came with skills, although there's probably a handful of different things that would be better than what Correa has, which is... Um, all right, so all that material is going to help a ton, which means we'll have some packs left over that we can hold on to for um, if we pull uh, if we pull a usable card from the next uh, club craft, and that's exactly what special training material is for. So. <laughs> it, I've kind of been doing it backwards. I've been thinking about it on the Phillies team. I would rather use up the special training material and then have packs because at least with cards, I can do combos. Whereas with special train material, it just sits there and does nothing if I don't use it for special training. So I'm going to try to fix that and do things a little differently going forward on the Phillies team at least. But while we're here, while we need the special train material, 
Um, and we're just going to hold off on special training Correa any further because we don't need to. The um, I don't know who else. Who else would I work on special training wise? Maybe I pump it into um, Clipper since I want him to be my PCAM guy just to get his OVR up. Um, but otherwise, I can't. I don't really think there's anyone I would need to work on special training immediately. We're going to take this down probably to as close as we can to 100 before we need to do the next batch of special training. And then we'll see how much we have left over and we'll go from there. I like the number of diamonds we're seeing, though. That is a that is an interesting Greg Vaughn picture. That is old school. <laughs> I guess they couldn't find a picture that was just a headshot for him. No righty. Haven't seen many vintages or primes lately, but I guess we pulled a diamond prime out of a team select diamond pack, a non twins team select diamond pack. Um, that. <laughs> that Jorge Posada came with Charisma Spotlight Training Junkie, I want to say 332. Let's go check that, actually. Um, if that's the case, I might train him up and just, like, throw him on the bench. Just because, like, why not? I'm not going to get rid of him. Yep. <laughs> that's a, that's kind of crazy skills. He would never pinch hit because he's not going to be pinch hitting for Garver. So, like, why not, right? It's just a thought I had. I would need to wait until I got upgrade material because I don't really want to put um, upgrade tickets into him. But I think we're going to be good to pretty quickly finish off Roy. And as you can see, he still only has passable fielding um, despite it being number one in the special train order. All right, so let's go up and maybe another... Mm, let's say another 20 packs, 20 or 30 packs premiums. Um, well, let's do 50. We'll do 50, uh, an even 50, another 50 premiums. We'll finish off Roy, and then we'll see what else we can tag on to the rest of this video. It will probably be... Um, no, there's the vintage. I was just saying I wasn't seeing a lot of vintages. Um... We'll see what we'll, we'll see what I tag on to the end of this. Probably the Clubcraft team sig would be my guess. There's a diamond. Seeing a lot of Dodgers right here, which is kind of funny. All right, so that almost certainly will be enough to go finish off Roy, and um, we still have a fair number of packs left over. And uh, we'll be able to throw him in the lineup and take a look at his um, at his base stats once he's in the line at diamond without max um, grade increase, of course. But let's see. Okay. Just want to make sure we're not wasting material. All right. So, real quick while we're here, let's see. Who need? Let's. Joan Duran's at level six. He's at level four. So, yeah, let's throw it into Duffy. See if we can get him up to level six soon. Um, especially because Tyler Duffy's no longer in the game, so actually that's probably a pretty smart path to go to try to max out his special training. All right, so Smalley here. Let's see, who are we going to swap him in over? Probably Buxton, because Buxton is the lowest OVR. And there we're sitting at 118. Let's compare him to... Um, oh, okay, so he does have 115 field right now. Um... I actually think with his current grade increase, I think he's at the most amount of field that he will ever have on a grade increase. So that's pretty good. So he's the same fielding as Correa. 
and the rest of his stats are just better. <laughs> so um, he, yeah, I mean, Spotlight Slugger, as uh, you've heard me say in the past, is not a very good set, even though it is a triple three set. So once we get some skill change tickets back, we'll roll on him, see if we can get him a good couple skills, and then we'll swap him into the starting lineup over Correa. So um, pretty quick turnaround. He will be, unless we pull Carlos Correa himself as a SIG from the next club craft, he will probably be our next um, Black Diamond candidate. Um, I guess theoretically, if we were to pull Walter Johnson, but even then we have Randy Johnson currently, so even though if I, I would put Walter Johnson's SIG in over the Randy Johnson Supreme, it's not as pressing as getting Roy here to Black Diamond. So at the very least, we'll open a second skill storage slot for him. Charisma Laser Beam. Not great. Um, if that was like Charisma Slugger, Charisma Spot, I probably would then put him in over Correa, but alas, it was not. Um, and yeah, and you know, let me put him in over Donaldson. I don't know, something like that. Um, when he's fully trained, you know, maybe, maybe it's worth it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I think the next step for us is going to be, um, we're going to take him black diamond. We're going to do another club craft coming up soon. And like, <laughs> you know, as much as I complained about him having low field, there are two, there are three shortstop sigs for the Twins. One of them is Polanco, who we can't use because we already have a triple three set on his better year, which is second base anyway, and Carlos Correa. So until we pull Correa, Smalley is the best option. And he was also just added back in. They had pulled him from the game and they just put him back in recently. So I can't complain too much. That's a good card. I, I It's a good card. Lower OVR, of course, but... What uh, I don't particularly care about OVR as long as the stats do what you need them to do, right? Um, so uh, we will. That'll be it for this chunk, and we'll see what we can do following this up. All right. So I was initially going to tag on the team select sig club craft to the end of this video, but uh, we're already running a little long, so I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. Um, I'll see you in the next one where we will pull that team select club craft, and fingers crossed we can pull a good card. Uh, until then, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.